by the wilder water sun. You and me tonight. I got the big boy out today, guys. An MS-880. It's the biggest chainsaw steel made, so I'm pretty sure. So I'm headed over to Dovefield to look at some more logs. I got my little trailer hooked on there, so I'll probably pick up one or two while we're there. I'll stop at the feed store over in Virginia, a place called Broadwaters, and that's where I bought this saw at about two years ago. And the reason I'm taking it today is I'm going to try to get some parts for it, because I want to be able to run my 461 bars on it. It's rated for a different size chain. And the only bar that I have for it is my six footer, and that's way too long to be bucking logs with. So hopefully they'll be able to hook me up over there and get me going right to put my 461 bars on this saw and start using it more. I kind of hate having it set on the shelf. This thing cost about $2,000. It's kind of a waste just sitting around. So uh, hopefully they'll be able to get it going for me. I tell you guys, it's the weirdest weather I've ever seen. It's February the 26th, and this morning it was 30 degrees, and now it's about 12 o'clock and it's 55. Kind of hard to dress for days like this. We'll get by it, but uh, at least it ain't raining. Could be a lot worse. My questions on a video the other day, the last time I went to Virginia to get some logs, and people were asking why I didn't have a bigger trailer. Well, I got a bigger trailer. I got a double axle, and here's why I've not been bringing it with me. As you can see, it's right there in my field. That's where I parked it a few weeks ago. It's got some walnut on it I need to unload. But as you can see by the ground in front of it, this area is a swamp still. We had five inches of rain last week, I think is what we had. And right now, it's just hard to get that out of there without making a mess and sinking in the ground. But if I get over to Virginia and start buying some more logs today, I'll probably have to clear that thing off tomorrow the best I can and try to pull it out. So I don't want to haul a lot on this little five by 10 trailer. About one log is all it likes to handle. Well, I had to leave the chainsaw with him. His tech guy's not working today. He's gonna be there tomorrow, but the owner seems to think they can change out the sprockets on the 880. That way I can run the 461 chains on it. Hopefully that's the case. We can come back tomorrow and pick that thing up. I'd like to start using it more. It's a heck of a saw. So let's ride over now to Duffield, about 20 minutes down the road. See what kind of walnuts on the ground.
by the wilder waters on you and me ignite living in each other's hands running in luminous light you when I need you close when I'm broken down whether we are one or alone eternal is the blue we're coming Let me hear